Now our GMA cover story, we have a health alert about penicillin. A new study in the Journal of Pediatrics found the majority of children who thought they were allergic to the antibio antibiotic actually were not, and Dr. Jen is here to explain. Good morning, happy Friday, Robin. Thank you for letting me get up and stretch my legs a little of course, bit. Of course, stretch What's the significance of this? Oh, big significance. We want to have a disclaimer to start with. Some people actually do have a life-threatening yes. allergy to the antibiotic penicillin. That is not who this study and this information applies to. It applies to the other 90% of people, and I see these former children who were adults literally every day. When I ask them if they have any allergies, they say yes, penicillin. The next question medically should be, what is your reaction? Because if you get a rash a couple of days after mm -hmm. taking penicillin, that is not a serious or qualifying reaction. If you get a little GI upset, a little nausea, a little vomiting, not a life-threatening allergy. So what this study did is it took about 100 children who were thought to have a low-risk allergy to penicillin, tested them, gave them penicillin, not a single one had an allergic reaction. So we're talking here about this concept of delabeling a child when they get to their doctor or emergency. And there's a problem if you think that you're allergic and you're not. Big problem, okay, first of all, we have to remember penicillin is the most widely used antibiotic in the world. There are medical and financial aspects. It is used to treat skin infections, upper respiratory infections, ear infections, sometimes urinary tract infections, pneumonia. If you can't get it, we are forced to go to other antibiotics, mm. cousins, if you will, that tend to be more sophisticated, more expensive, put you at higher risk for other complications. Patients stay in the hospital longer when they come in saying, I'm allergic to penicillin, and they have a higher risk of surgical site infections postoperatively. So this is a problem. You need to know if you are truly allergic because if you're not, not only is it expensive financially, but it does put your health in some jeopardy. It's one of the first questions you're asked. Absolutely, you're asking, we ask it all the time. So how do you know if you are or not? Here's what people should know, parents or adults, they should take their child to an allergist, get skin tested, it is easy to do. And then if they're just determined to not be allergic, that labeling comes off. If they are determined to be allergic, then that's a completely different category, but this is potentially life-saving information. And you're gonna have more information. Yes, you're gonna talk on our new website. Yes, I will. That. Break, all right. GMA all day. G GMA all day. <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.